On June 4th, the city of Round Rock, Texas held its first ever Pride Festival at Centennial Plaza. Austin American statesman and KVU reporter Tony Plahetsky gave the opening remarks, and Round Rock mayor and friend of the show Craig Morgan proclaimed June National Pride Month in the city. Whereas the city of Round Rock accepts and welcomes people of diverse backgrounds and believes a diverse population leads to a vibrant community, and whereas Round Rock Pride was founded to celebrate the diversity in our community and provide a place to all to gather in safety, acceptance, and love, and whereas we believe our diversity makes us stronger and that by sharing our talents, ideas, and dreams, we all become better people, and whereas the inaugural Round Rock Pride Festival will take place June 4, 2022 at Centennial Plaza in downtown Round Rock, now therefore I, Craig Morgan, the rest of the City Council of the City of Round Rock, Texas, do hereby proclaim June 22nd as National Pride Month in the City of Round Rock, Texas, and all citizens of Round Rock are welcome to the celebration on June 4th. Proclaim this fourth day of June, May of 2022, Craig Morgan, Mayor of City of Round Rock. Entertainment included performances by the Austin Gay Men's Chorus. The Austin Baptist Women. Book People, Ikea, Rockin' City Roller Derby, the Parasol Patrol, the Texas Freedom Network, and many more were on hand to entertain and educate. Sadly, there was no funnel cake booth, an oversight that I hope they correct next year. Community participation far exceeded Round Rock Pride founder Richard Parsons' expectations. You know, I went to Pro uh, Pride and Taylor. Now think about it, Taylor and Pride in one sentence, right? But I said, I've got to go see this, and I did, a year ago. And I thought, I was blown away. The charm and sweetness of a small town like Taylor, and then such a big hearted pride. And I told him, Mayor, I've got to go back, and I've got to have Mount Rock's first pride. Yeah. And I thought, well, I shook his hand and turned my eye, you know, thinking, well, nobody heard me say that, so that sounds good. <laughs> but I turned around, and two people behind me had heard what I said, and they said, sign us up, Richard. Oh, nice. And then, so I had a committee before I even finished. <laughs> and so it grew from there. Everywhere you looked, people were celebrating the diversity in our community and providing a place for all to gather in safety, acceptance, and love. Across the street, two lonely protesters tried to interrupt the celebration, ironically shouting about the love and forgiveness of Christ, while completely missing a very Christ-like outpouring of love, tolerance, and acceptance taking place right in front of them. So Jesus says, the greatest commandment is this, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and then to love your neighbor as yourself. As Jesus himself might advise, you should check your eyes for logs, friends. A couple of things. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was raised Southern Baptist, so I know my scripture well. We're back and forth. But I am a Jewish man. So, because so is Jesus. Now, you kind of put, you kind of, you put a spin on it. Challenged by the Pharisees. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. But, no, no, no. But challenging is part of Judaism. Asking questions. You're allowed to ask questions of the religion and of your God. Our goal is not to condemn. Second of all, our goal is not to judge. The scripture that you quoted is with lying with a man. First of all, Jesus didn't say that. Second of all, that was cultural sin. stuff for the desert, for the Bronze Age if I was here, pedestrians. A parade, so, <laughs> or if I and also, um, you know, and if you're going to quote that one, then if you eat shellfish, you should just kill yourself and go to hell. If you eat pork, if you eat bacon, then you're going to hell. I absolutely need repentance. No, 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 I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying this is more, again, it's a question. We're questioning back and forth, and you go, okay, let's think about that and look at some more Leviticus and go, that's some crazy crap for people walking around in a desert without refrigeration. So, <laughs> well, well, I mean, the, the thing is, is I believe it's the word of God, do you? No. 
Right. And then, so that's where the well, right. here's why. Right. Here's why. Yeah. Is because when you, uh, I know the original Hebrew, and, and these are laws for people not on him. walking in the desert, right. so it's right. not to separate. You like you see the Hasidics and the Pais and all that. That's because next door was a tribe that would shave that up, and they went, "You can't be like them." It wasn't. God said, "Do this dumb thing." God but some people get caught up in the. I am not the judge. But during the time of crisis of how we need to stick together. So, but this is it once again. Stick together, man. Have a great day. A parasol patrol provided by the Free Mom Hugs organization shielded festival attendees from the nonsense and intolerance coming from across the street. We're mainly a group of parents who get together with our big rainbow umbrellas. If any protesters or naysayers show up to Pride and harass our kids or our community, we block them out. We don't engage with them. Sweet. We just keep our kids safe from their harassment. Located 15 miles north of Austin, Round Rock is one of the country's fastest growing cities. Money Magazine named the city on its Best Places to Live list in 2020, highlighting the area's outstanding public school system and business support network. From job opportunities to community events, good schools, and an award-winning park system, Round Rock already had it all. We were already proud, but now, thanks to Richard Parson, Mayor Morgan, and the people of Round Rock, we also have pride.